What is up fellow gamers? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, then just welcome. It's your boy the Spartan and I'm back yet again after about four months, give or take, uh, with some more video game goodies from all over the internet. As usual, a quick disclaimer, I am not in any way, shape or form sponsored by or in partnership with any of the websites, platforms, companies and whatnot that I uh, talk about in these types of videos. I mean, you can check the descriptions of all the videos for yourselves and you will see that the provided links do not contain personal discount codes and they are not affiliate links or anything like that. Simply put, these videos are a sharing is caring type thing and there's no financial benefit on my part whatsoever from any of this because it is just me sharing some video game goodies with you guys and gals with no catches or strings attached. And all that having been said, hope everyone is doing great, and without any further delay, let's jump right into the first bit of content for tonight, and as always, the free stuff goes first. So, uh, the first free game comes from the Epic Game Store, it is exclusive to the Epic Game Store. Uh, it is called The Spirit and the Mouse, it's a cute little indie game, I mean at the end of the day free is free, uh, but it is completely up to you whether you want to get the game and play it, whether you want to add, add it to your collection or let it catch dust, completely disregard the game, that is completely up to you, as is the option to continue watching the video, because literally everything I talk about in these types of videos is uh, linked in the uh, video description, so you can just completely skip the video, Com completely up to you. Uh, so yeah, again, Epic Game Store exclusive, the, the Spirit and the Mouse completely free for one week until uh, obviously next Thursday when the, uh, the free game shuffle will reset and we will get something else for free. Moving on, uh, we got something uh, exclusive to the uh, Steam Store. Apparently, the, uh, there's a crossover between um, World of Warships and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles where you get a free piece of DLC, specifically a skin, a, uh, a camo skin. So, uh, if, for all you World of Warships players out there, if you're interested, head on over to the link in the video description or just simply go to Steam directly. And uh, yeah, get this uh, get this free piece of DLC. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but judging from how they usually handle uh, this type of uh, cosmetic DLC, it's usually permanent. Like I've, I've uh, just out of curiosity, I checked uh, a few months ago. I checked something from one of my previous videos, and it was still up and running, and we're talking a difference of we uh, weeks or months even between so uh, yeah something tells me again judging for the past that this is gonna be uh, a permanent thing so no need to rush but again if you play World of Warships and you're interested in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle camo skin type thing either head on over to the link in the uh, video description or directly to uh, Steam up to you and the last free game for tonight, uh, this one comes from uh, the micro, obviously it's going to be exclusive to the Microsoft Store. Uh, you have three days left to claim it, and by claiming it you will be saving $7, since that's what it actually costs, only now it's free. Uh, the game in question is Hero of the Kingdom The Lost Tales 2, which... I guess implies that there is a previous entry in the uh, series, I guess. I, I'm gonna be completely honest, I know, I know nothing about this game. Though judging by this screenshot, it does give me Diablo vibes, so make of that what you will, I guess. But don't forget, free is free. And me being one of those crazy people who collects everything, guess what? Yeah, I added it to my Microsoft uh, collection, even though I'm not ever going to touch it. <laughs> For me, if it's not on Steam, then it's a no-go, basically. 
but that's just me. Anyway, uh, moving on to the bundles section of the video. We have two bundles from Humble and two from Fanatical. Uh, the first one from Humble is called the One Special Bundle and it is the Legacy of Adult Swim games with uh, bangers such as Samurai Jack, Rain World, uh, Death's Gambit, Duck Game, Jazz Punk, Battle Chef, Pool Panic, which I know nothing about, but still. Uh, the entire seven game bundle, because two are DLCs, so nine items, out of which seven are games and two are DLCs for the, uh, the games in question. All of this is going to set you back 18 euros and the offer ends in a little over two weeks, specifically 15 days and almost six hours as of the making of this video. And also remember, when it comes to Humble Bundle, some of the proceeds always go to charity. In this specific case, it will go to the special effect charity. Uh, moving on, the second one is called the Enter the Mysterium game bundle, and as someone who grew up with the uh, puzzle adventure games series Myst, I highly recommend it. You basically got the Myst collection, you got uh, Firmament, you got Abduction, you also got uh, Uru, Spelunx, Cosmic Osmo, and uh, the Manhole. So yeah. 13 item bundle and unlike this one which is a 7 game bundle and 2 DLCs this one is actually 13 games in total both cost exactly 18 euros for the whole package though obviously you can choose 11 items 8 6 3 and the price obviously goes down i'm just showing you the uh, the full package that's what she said uh, okay, and this uh, this bundle is in partnership with the Active Minds uh, charity. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, whenever it comes to Humble Bundle, like, literally, whenever it comes to Humble Bundle, there are two major things you need to take into consideration. Number one, they always work with charities from all over the world, so you're not only playing awesome games but you're also helping people more or less indirectly and number two they never go wrong with any of their bundles which basically means they always release bangers so no comment on that okay uh moving on the first um the first bundle from fanatical and i should say this beforehand both of these bundles are for September and we are nearing the end of September uh, we got like four days left give or take uh, in any case the first one is build your own infinity VR bundle so word of caution this is specifically for people who own VR headsets and me being one of them if you're interested Skyrim VR Fallout VR I expect you to die into the radius uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, after the fall, definitely Arizona Sunshine, uh, Not For Broadcast, Ultra Wings 2, and uh, Warplanes. These are just some of the games that I have already played on my MetaQuest 2. Highly recommend them. Highly recommend them. Uh, basically, you build your bundle. This is how most, if not all, well, not, not all, but most of the bundles on Fanatical work on a build your own bundle type thing. So uh, you get two games for about seven euros and a half per game. And as the games increase, as your list increases, as the, the more games you add to your bundle, the less it will cost, the better the value, basically. Uh, so yeah, definitely take a, take a look at this one if you're a if you're a VR player. But beware, this is for PC VR. You cannot buy these games and expect to play them standalone. So this is PC VR. And the other one, uh, this is for basically everyone. 
actually no this is <laughs> this is for the exactly the exact opposite type of player specifically the one who doesn't have a vr headset or who doesn't want to play vr games because personally i know people who have vr headsets but they've never touched a game ever on on that specific headset but they do uh, use it for fitness or to travel or stuff like that so yeah there are all types of people out there in any case this one doesn't basically what i'm trying to say i guess is that this one does not require you to have a vr headset so this is more or less for everyone uh, build your own prestige collection and it's the same system as you can see the more games you add to your bundle the less it will eventually cost and uh, you got some really 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 good bangers here starting with hi-fi rush you got the star wars collection you got skyrim again uh what else what else you got control dying light um I'm looking at Saints Row, the reboot, and it's kind of... Personally, I enjoyed it. I don't know, sue me, judge me. Personally, I, I, I enjoyed it. It's, it's, not a tra it's, a, it's not a masterpiece, obviously, but it's not a train wreck either. It's somewhere in the middle, you know? It, it's, a, it's, it's what a video game should be, you know? They tried pushing a little bit of uh, DEI agenda and stuff like that, but not too much it, it wasn't too intrusive it's basically an, a video game that's not trying to be anything else not sure how to fully explain it but yeah in any case uh, you got uh, Assetto Corsa uh, Timesia probably butchered that uh, Double Dragon fuck yeah a ship graveyard simulator 2 highly recommend this one you can sink hundreds of hours into this one if you're not careful <laughs> uh insurgency oh my god dude these games you got you got you really got some bangers here i mean sure the more we uh, approach the bottom the less the bangers uh show themselves but i mean again Hi-Fi Rush, Star Wars Collection, Skyrim, uh, Dying Light, Control, Assetto Corsa, maybe, Saints Row, maybe? <laughs> uh, oh, Killer Frequency, I missed this. Uh, Double Dragon, Ship, Graveyard, Simulator, Moving Out 2, missed this one as well, last time. Fuck yeah, definitely, definitely take a look at this one as well. Okay, uh, usually I would move on to the Deals section of this uh of this video of these types of videos in general but there are a lot of events going on steam right now and not just steam gog and ubisoft as you will see in just a few minutes so i decided to completely skip the deals section because there are literally a shit ton of deals going on as we speak so i i just i couldn't pinpoint one or five or ten because there are hundreds if not even more so we're just gonna skip um in this video we're just gonna skip the uh, deals section and go directly to the events so first and foremost steam you got the xbox game studios publisher sale which ends tomorrow unfortunately uh, you got the uh, Tokyo Games, uh, the Tokyo Game Show, which lasts for three days as of the making of this video. Uh, speaking of Tokyo Game Show 2024, you got Bandai Namco titles, also ending in uh, three days, and then you got uh, what is this? The uh, Hooded Horse Publisher Sale. This one ends on October 3rd, so plenty of time. Uh, you also have the Konami publisher sale, also ending on uh, in October, October 7th to be more precise. And another one on October 7th, the uh, Koei Tecmo publisher sale. So yeah, in terms of Steam, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
In terms of Steam, we got six events that I know of as of the making of this video. But they have been uploading um, events on the internet left and right. So for all I know, the moment I end this video, maybe 10 more events have popped up already. <laughs> you know so quite simply put there are a lot of events on steam right now which means one simple thing if you want to play something and you have your wallet at the ready definitely check your steam wishlist because i am more than certain you will find what you are looking for at a more than reasonable price so fuck yeah head on over to steam uh, a shit ton of games are discounted, happy hunting, happy shopping, and definitely happy gaming. And last but not least in terms of events, uh, GOG is holding their own autumn sale, which as of the making of this video uh, still has 11 days and almost 13 hours left. Uh, personally I'm not a GOG fan. But then again, I'm not a fan of any other platform except Steam. Again, sue me. <laughs> uh, but I do appreciate what they do in terms of DRM-free games, in terms of game collections, uh, in terms of bundles they do sometimes, in terms of discounts overall. And uh, yeah, I, I can only say positive things about GOG. I do not touch their um, platform, their GOG Galaxy, again, because I'm a Steam freak. <laughs> but other than that, GOG is definitely top tier when it comes to uh, gaming. And uh, last but not least, Ubisoft, which I don't even know if I should say, but... I mean, uh, if you don't know already, Star Wars Outlaws flopped, Assassin's Creed Shadows has been pushed to February of next year, although I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, basically uh, Ubisoft stock has been plummeting ever since, um, Star well technically even before Star Wars Outlaws even launched, it saw a few dips. But since the launch of Star Wars Outlaws and all the controversy surrounding it and Assassin's Creed, among other things, Ubisoft related, the stock has been plummeting. Some even, uh, some have even gone as far as to say Ubisoft is probably on the brink of collapse and I do not blame them. Hell, I'm even inclined to believe them. But still, again, this is a video in which I provide you with Free stuff, discounts, events, bundles, stuff like that. So, I found this and apparently uh, Ubisoft on their own platform exclusively, they are holding their own uh, autumn sale. It is going to end on October 8th, which uh, gives you more than enough time if you're interested. And um, apparently you get $15 off your cart if you spend at least $30 and you also get a coupon autumn 24 wait so how does this work exactly oh so if you spend at least 30 bucks um, oh, by also using the autumn 24 code you can get $15 off your cart and looking at the titles here I didn't uh, do this with GOG because they have I mean, the amount of games on GOG, it's too much. It's almost on par with Steam, so yeah. But I will show you a few titles uh, Ubisoft specific because they have their own little uh, bundle of franchises, so not that many games. And as you can see, um, Mirage, 50% off. Avatar, 50% off. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Complete Edition, 75% off. Far Cry 5, 92% off. Assassin's Creed Origins, 92% off. Same goes for Watch Dogs Legion. And uh, yeah, this obviously this goes for uh, DLC as well. 
with the uh, with the aforementioned games. So yeah, for those of you interested, again, I I'm not a fan. I, I'm I am a fan of their games. I'm just not a fan of their platform. I hate this whole exclusivity thing. Always have, always will. If it's not on Steam, I don't care. Uh, and I know some of you are thinking, but wait a minute. What if you buy a Ubisoft game on Steam and it then opens the Ubisoft launcher because that's how things work? I know. I don't care. Even if a game on Steam opens 50 launchers, I will still play it because it is on Steam. For me, it's a matter of principle. <laughs> Again, I'm one of those crazy people, if you want, sue me, but I would rather go through a hundred launchers on Steam before getting to my game than actually going to the original platform on which the game launched. So, yeah. But, for those of you interested, the, these fucking, these discounts, I mean, you can get... You can get like four, five, six games. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not doing the math right now. I'm just uh, spitballing here. But I think you can easily get like five, five really good, really, really good games. And considering the discounts already applied, plus the coupon, plus the uh, $15 off your cart. Yeah, I think you can spend between 30 to 50 bucks and get complete editions for five amazing games on Ubisoft, definitely. But again, they are exclusive to Ubisoft, so bear that in mind. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I promised myself last time, and I think I, I think this is why I stopped making these types of videos, but uh, if I remember correctly, in the last video of this type, I promised myself I would try to keep them as short as possible, and I didn't exactly... I, I, I kept like 20% of that promise, considering this video is already 22 minutes and... 30 seconds long, but still, like I said in the beginning, and like I always say, you have the option of skipping these videos completely and just going below to the links and go from there. That is up to you. Still, I think the last video was way longer than uh, 22 minutes, so again, I'm, I'm trying my best to keep that promise, at least in a percentage. <laughs> uh, so yeah. As usual, everything I talked about will be linked down below in the video description along with chapters so that you guys and gals can access fast and easy. If anyone ever stumbles upon my channel and finds any of these uh, types of videos or other content that I upload and enjoys the content overall, consider smashing the uh, like and subscribe buttons and hit that notification bell to always be updated on the latest goodies uploads and other stuff that I upload on the channel. And until the next video, take care, stay safe, have as much fun as you possibly can, and never forget, a true Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Thank you for watching, have a good one, bye bye